This is a revelation. I cherish sleep more than makeup. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Stephanie May. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well today. Today I have a tutorial for you guys or a get ready with me video. This is a video that I have wanted to do for so long because it's something that I do so often and I've never actually shared with you guys. And that is sleep in until like the very last minute, get up and realize that I have like 10 minutes to get ready and get out the door. I do that a lot, yeah. But yeah, I thought I would put together for you guys a very sort of quick get ready with me rushed version of my makeup look. This is done super, super quick. It's, you know, priorities first going from order of most important to least important. So if you don't finish the entire look, you can leave looking like a human being. <laughs> so with all that being said, let's get into the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm gonna try and rush this as much as possible and go through really, really quickly because I wanna sort of replicate myself being in a rush in the morning. I work two days a week in retail and I have to start work at nine and I have to travel over an hour to get there. So um, when that happens, I'm going to definitely prioritize sleep over my face. Um, I don't think anyone at my work even believes I work in beauty because I just never look nice. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible. So obviously this isn't gonna be um, the most perfect um, makeup tutorial ever, but it is gonna be a realistic sort of get ready quickly look. So I will always first of all go in with a primer. No matter what, I will prime around my nose, my chin, and my forehead. So I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Radiance. So this one has a little bit of a radiant glow to it. Um, and I'm just gonna really quickly pop a little, about that much on my nose, my chin, and my forehead because they're the areas that I find that my makeup leaves first. Then for foundation, I'm going in with my Maybelline Matte & Poreless Fit Me Foundation. This is my go-to for every day simply because I think it's really important to wear a drugstore foundation in your everyday life and save your more expensive foundations for later. If you can afford to wear an expensive foundation every day of your life, well done. You're doing something right. Um, but you know, the rest of us, most of us can't afford that. So I'm going in with this one. And also, can we just appreciate for a second how beautiful is this Real Technique sponge. It's like a marble diamond. Anyway, stop getting distracted. Um, I'm going to just really quickly pop that in little specks over my face. And I'm going to apply it with a sponge because I do find that sponges actually make the process of putting the makeup on a lot quicker. And also the fact that there's a little bit of moisture in the sponge makes the foundation move around your face a lot quicker, which just makes the process happen faster. Also, I think the easiest thing to do in the mornings when you're in a rush is to forget your neck and forget to blend. I always forget to do my neck when I'm rushing, but it's really important just to go at least below the neckline a little bit. Now, to be honest, if I am running late in the morning, I'm not gonna be too worried about covering all the blemishes um, on my face. I just kinda wanna make my face look as good as physically possible in the shortest period of time. But I am going to go in with the, this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which I find is really, really good for covering blemishes. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on my chin around the areas that I have blemishes. Because uploading every single day of this month has meant that I have been comfort eating my way through it and all the chocolate is showing in my chin. <laughs> and then I'm really quickly going in with this Too Faced concealer, any, obviously any concealer will do. And I'm going to very, very lightly just put a little dash underneath both eyes, tip of the nose, a little bit on the chin, and a little triangle on my forehead. Super quick, just do it really rough. No worries about like making it perfect or making it look like an Instagram model or anything. Um, then I'm gonna take my sponge once again and just really quickly blend that out under the eye. And, and that's going to hide any of those dark circles that are sneakily showing through because you didn't get enough sleep. face and we don't have time for baking so I'm just going to lightly go in with a little bit of the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder and just on a little Real Techniques brush just pop a little on and just dab it on the areas where you're gonna get oily and where you just put that concealer. And we ain't got time to bake. 
So I'm actually doing this in order of priority. So like if I don't get it finished in time, I can still run out the door and I will look like a human being. Um, I am actually gonna go in with my brows next because I think your brows are so important. If you haven't got anything else on your face, put your brows on because your brows completely will shape your face and make your face look different. Brows are the most important part of your face and I think a lot of people don't realize just how important they are. Google celebrities without eyebrows and then you will understand. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my Benefit um, Goof Proof Pencil. I think because this one has a sort of like thicker tip to it, it's actually really quick and easy to create something that looks like you put a lot of effort into it when you've actually just done it really quickly. So I'm obviously not gonna put too much effort in but I am just gonna try and quickly create a little bit more brow. Just filling in those areas that are sparse. If you're a super lazy person, it might be a good idea to get your eyebrows actually feathered because it will make your morning process a lot quicker because your brows will already be on. Either tattoo feathered or just get them tinted or something so that it works for you when you wake up. Then I'm just going to go in with some mascara. Now I think if you're in a rush and you haven't really got time to put more effort into your the rest of your makeup, sometimes it's good to put on a really um, volumizing mascara because it makes you look like you're more awake and like you put more effort into your face than you have. So that's why I'm going in with the Better Than Sex because this one is very um, volumizing. And I'm just going to quickly coat my lashes lightly. We ain't got time for eyeshadow, we ain't got time for eyeliner. The train is leaving in 20 minutes and it takes us 15 minutes to walk there. We gotta hustle. I love this mascara, it is honestly so good. So to be honest, you could leave the house like this perfectly fine and you would look like a human being. Technically you could go to work without wearing any makeup at all, it's not a problem, you're beautiful no matter what. But for someone who is very self-conscious and likes to, you know, set their face together, um, you will look like a human being at this point of the stage, so you can easily leave now. Um, I am going to put a little bit of bronzer on, no time for contouring, we're just going to get a fluffy brush, and I'm just taking this one by Charlotte Tilbury, but obviously any um, bronzer will do. And just really quickly swirling it around and I'm going to just work it from my cheekbones up around the top of my forehead and that's going to create just a sort of bronze look to make me more awake and less like I'm just the one colour from the foundation. Often when you're in a rush too, it's better to use a lighter, more taupey shade bronzer because when you're in a rush you're not really going to be too um, perfect with it and you can risk your face actually looking a little bit muddy when you do it too quickly, so if you get a lighter bronzer, it's going to be a lot safer than if you're using a darker one. We've all done our makeup really quickly and then gotten to work and looked in the mirror and just gone, what was I thinking? <laughs> then to be honest, if I'm in a rush, I'm gonna skip the blush, I don't think it's really important and I will probably just get a flush anyway when I'm running to the train station. So blush is not necessary today, but I am going to take a little bit of highlight Obviously any highlight is fine, whichever one floats your boat, takes your fancy. And I'm going to commit a makeup crime here and use the same brush that I used for my powder for my highlight because once again we're in a rush so the powder that's already on this um, brush is actually going to make the highlight a little bit less intense so th the fact that we're rushing is probably going to mean that it's not going to be perfect. So it will dull it down a little bit which will probably mean that we will look a little bit more human than if we were doing it while we were rushing without the powder on the brush. I also find that highlight is the best for making you look like you have proper put your face together. It's a very good cheat if you want to make yourself look put together when you haven't put a lot of effort in. Highlight just sort of makes you look more awake and glowy and ready for the day and like you've put a lot of effort in when you haven't. <laughs> so finally for the lips, it's obviously not that important that you have a lipstick on. You can put one in your bag and put it on at work or on the train or something. But I like to carry around with me a tube of Lena Lips. This stuff is amazing. It's just like a, or like a pore pore cream or something like that. Um, and I like to just put a little of that on my lips in the mornings. To be honest, I don't usually wear that many lip products in my everyday wear. I usually just pop a little bit of Lena Lips on my lips. It's good because it's actually moisturizing your lips while you're at work and you don't really need to look that amazing if you're like working in a job in like retail or in the office or something. So it's just a good way to sort of like help and hydrate your lips ready for like your weekend when you want to wear like a red lipstick or something. And voila, now you're ready to leave the house. I think also I want to mention um, to do with hair. 
this little top knot situation so quick. Flip your head over, twist it around, tie it up in a bun, and you look like you've put a lot of effort into a nice little top knot when you really haven't. So I think that's my number one, number one thing for when you're running late with hair is just chuck it up in a top knot. Also, your best friend in the morning is going to be um, dry shampoo for when you don't have time to wash your hair in the morning. Um, this is a savior. Even when I'm wearing my hair in a ponytail, sometimes I find it can be quite flat. So I'll put a little um, a dry shampoo on my roots and instantly it looks like I have washed my hair freshly and blow dried and it's amazing and it's like the best creation ever invented ever. If you don't have dry shampoo, where have you been? What are you doing with your life? <laughs> So I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick sort of get ready with me video. I thought it'd be a fun thing to share because it's something that I do a lot throughout the week when I'm rushing to go somewhere and I know a lot of you guys, you know, we all like to look glam but let's be honest about 50% of the time, actually 80% of the time, we just don't, we just can't, we just can't afford to look glam. So this is more of like a realistic look for you guys. Um, I really hope you are enjoying my um, upload so far this month. I've uploaded every single day this month. So if you haven't seen them, go check them out. There is plenty of videos waiting for you and plenty more videos to come. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow with another day of Stephanie May.